Hey you guys, how are you guys doing? So we are back with another product review and this time it is by the Mayel Organics Hawaiian Ginger Line. I have their Hawaiian Ginger Moisturizing Leave-In Conditioner. This is in a 12 ounce. Now I purchased this a while back when they were having that banging sale. Yeah, I know for a while there I was sharing a lot of the sales um, on my community page, okay? And next I have their Hawaiian Ginger Moisturizing Hair Butter. So let's just go right ahead and get into the consistencies. I'm hoping this pump will work because y'all know how sometimes the pumps on these products don't be working. Now yeah, let me see if I can You see, you see what I'm talking about? See, there we go. This smells like, hmm. This honestly smells a little bit like, doesn't smell bad, but it smells a little bit to me, like just for me perm. I know, I'm gonna put this on the back of my hair because I don't wanna waste it. This is the leave-in conditioner. Very smooth though. Very smooth. Yeah, it smells like that, like a hint of a baby perm. But that's okay, it was very creamy. I'm gonna pump some of the, on the front of my hand so you can see it. Okay, nice, and I'll put the rest in the back here. <laughs> and then next up we have the My L, like I said, the hair butter. Let's open this up and smell it. Oh, this is thick, look how thick that is, look. Smells good, ooh, yes. I, I live for a thick styler. This is how thick it is. Look at that, very creamy. Let me turn down this brightness some of you guys to help y'all out some. Um, Cause I'm looking high yellow girl. All right you guys, I'm applying the leave-in conditioner to this large section. All right you guys, so I went ahead and already added the leave-in conditioner. Now this is um, the hair butter. You know what, I feel like, yeah, I know me, I'm gonna be honest. I feel like these products are so similar. And I get it, a lot of these companies, they use the same base ingredients and then change up maybe two or three. Um, and that said, they sell them as a collection and so forth. In my opinion, I feel like the leave-in conditioner and the hair butter are way too similar to the point to where I would not purchase both of them again. I would either purchase the leave-in conditioner or the hair butter. At this point, I think I would probably purchase the styler again as opposed to leave as opposed to the leave-in conditioner, excuse me. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to twist my hair. you guys so I am all done look at these juicy twists looks great I left these in for about two days and came back on um look at the shrinkage I got a little bit of shrinkage I ain't gonna lie that right there is sweet almond oil because I did not use any oil to set my hair my hair was fairly moisturized because I did um 
moisturized it, excuse me, the day before. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my time to unravel. Now, if you'll notice at the end, some of my twists, I did do a hanging bantu knot, but I got lazy and I didn't finish the rest of it. That is okay because I'm going to be doing a textured updo. Let me tell y'all something. I rarely wear my hair down and out. It's a lot of hair. Um, I just prefer it up out of my face or sometimes I just wear my hair in twists. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead, like I said, and continue to um, take down these twists. definition is on point i would be very interested to see what or how well these products do on my hair once it was really stretched out like i stated i did get quite a bit of shrinkage because i left my hair in twist for a couple of days but i'm loving the definition this is the other side so you guys um i'm just going to separate in a few sections because as i stated i am going to do a updo a textured updo is what i call it okay Look at the definition, yeah. <laughs> yes, and this is 4C at the back. I'm mostly 4B, well, a combination of 4B and 4C in the front. So yes, my ends are a little frizzy, but that's okay because I'm gonna pin my hair up. Let me tell y'all something. I do twist outs oftentimes when I'm styling my hair for y'all, but I, I can't even tell you the last time I wore my hair in, the, in a twist out. It's probably been a couple of weeks, if not two, at least two months since I've worn my hair in a full, all the way down twist out so this is my signature look i'd say at least the front prop the front part of my hair i always do something in the back differently girl because look it's a lot of mysteries and stuff going on back there so the back is typically always different but this is what i do in the front a large pompadour i also use the three inch thick bobby pins i cannot use those small bobby pins girl they would be stuck in there and lost for years so just taking my time the video is sped up, but I do take my time. I like to um, twist the ends to make it easier to secure with the bobby pins. And then I just take uh, or gather large sections of my hair, pull it up and uh, use the bobby pins to secure it. So yeah, y'all, that is basically what I'm gonna be doing for this hairstyle.
I'm just about done here. And if you did not notice, I didn't use any type of edge control or gel. Look, I'm already struggling trying to put all this hair up. I am not about to struggle laying down my edges. I rarely lay down my edges, but look how full and thick my edges are. And it's been this way for 10 years now. Um, but everything in moderation, you guys, everything in moderation. This is what my hair looks like. I like it. It has a full, elegant look to it. I could put a scarf on it and maintain it for a good two to three days. But we'll have to take all this madness down. But that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.